Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 20th, and is a white day. Lachlan Francis is here today for an important Feed the Thousands update. Over to you, Lachlan, then. So tomorrow is the final day for Project Feed the Thousands. Uh, we're trying to really drive up as much or get as much support uh, for the organization as we can here at BUHS, support our community. We're still a, cut, a couple hundred food items short of our goal. Uh, tomorrow is baby food day, so if you can, it would be great if you could bring some baby food and uh, support Project Feed the Thousands. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lachlan. Well, Living Memorial Park is looking for volunteers. Anyone in 9th grade to 12th grade interested in volunteering for the Living Memorial Park snow sports this winter should attend a meeting on Friday, December 28th at 11 a.m. at Living Memorial Park. This meeting is a volunteer orientation to teach newcomers and veterans how to use the T-bar, weather conditions permitting, of course. The opening weekend schedule will be Saturday, December 29th from 10 to 4 p.m. and Sunday, December 30th from 12 to 4 p.m. again. Any questions, please contact Jake Dixon via email or phone listed below right here. Right there. Ryan is here today for a look at a five-day weather forecast. Over to Ryan then. Okay. For today, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 41 and a low of 32. There will be a 10% chance of rain and winds are at northeast at 5 miles per hour. And tomorrow, which is me, will be a high of... 47 and low of 29. There will be, uh, rain, of course. And there will be very heavy winds at southeast at 26 miles per hour. On Saturday, there will be a 30% chance of snow with a high of 35, a low of 20. And winds will be at west southwest at 12 miles per hour. On Sunday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 30, a low of 15. 10% chance of precipitation, and winds will be at west-northwest at 14 miles per hour. And on Monday, it will be pretty sunny, actually. High of 30, a low of 19, and winds will be at northwest at 5 miles per hour. Back to the desk. Thanks, Ryan. Attention seniors, the VSAC Financial Aid Form Night is January 3rd. There are two meeting times, 3.30 and 6.30. To attend, contact Ms. Harrison in counseling. There's a clothing drive happening at UHS in three advisories, and they need your help. Let's go over to Adam with more information about this clothing drive. Please help Ms. Johnson's, Mr. Perrin's, and Ms. Johnston's advisories with their winter clothing drive. Collections have already started, and the drive runs till January 18th. There's a box in the front lobby if you're willing to donate hats, mittens, gloves, coats, and any other winter clothing. It all goes to the drop-in center in Bradbrook. Help support those in need of staying warm. Thanks, Adam. Donation boxes for, clo for the clothing drive are located in the front lobby, so make sure you bring in whatever you can. The last day to buy a candy gram is today. Send your friend or favorite teacher a candy gram, and one of Santa's elves will hand deliver your special message to them tomorrow, December 21st. They're only $1 include candy and a card. It's a season of giving, so give your friends a candy gram this holiday and show them how much you care. Candy grams are on sale outside of the cafeteria. Well, the fabulous Kia Bailey is here today. We'll look at sports results. Over to you, Kia. Oh, where's my graphic? My graphic, whatever. Um, IBL results from last night. Um, <laughs> the green team beat the black team 75 to 71, close game. Orange team beat the blue team 74 to 38, not so close game. White beat red 72 to 48, also not so close of a game. And purple beat pink 60 to 43, not too close. Pink, come on! We were counting on you to win again. Okay, um, boys hockey played at home yesterday against Hartford and they won 5-2. Girls Hockey traveled to Burn Burton, and they lost 6-1. Um, oh, and on Tuesday, boys basketball played, and they won. And today, girls basketball plays at home against Essex at 6.30. And, and if you bring a canned good, you get in for free. And there's a sailboat to make you happy. Back to the desk. That was a really nice sailboat. Well, thanks, Kia. That's all we have for you today at BOHS. So remember to bring in your non perishable food items and cash donations for Feed the Thousands. We will leave you today for a look at the JV basketball game from last week. So, see you tomorrow.